right, what's going on guys? So today we are doing a 5K for time and attempting a PR. So currently my known PR on the 5K is 1933 and I did that this past January. So today we're attempting to PR and break and destroy that previous PR on the 5K. Now so far I've warmed up. I, uh, I did a 1.5 mile run and now we're on the track gonna do 3.1 miles four time so let's go let's do it all right three two one. All right, guys. So instead of making you watch me run for, as you can see, 18 minutes and 29 seconds for this 5K PR, I figured that I would talk to you while I'm watching the video that you're currently watching. Now, a lot of people are asking the questions, how do we capture this footage? Well, Jordan, our creative director, our videographer, he's on a boosted board following me around. So that's how we get a lot of the footage of me running uh, and a lot of the, the video footage of, of people running for bear performance nutrition that we film. Now let's go over this run. Um, I was super excited and anxious for this run for the past like seven days, for the past week. My coach, who is Patrick Cutter, uh, he asked me a few weeks ago if I would want to do a timed 5K I was like, absolutely. Like, I want to do a PR because leading into this, like I've said in January, my PR was 1933. And I made a lot of progress since then and I knew I could beat it. Um, so as you're watching these clips, you will see I speed up some of the parts so you're not sitting here watching me for the whole 18 minutes and 29 seconds. So let's go over some stats really quick. Um, me personally, I am 29 years old. I am six foot even and I'm 194 pounds flat currently and that's in the morning after training runs and after uh, longer distance mileage I'll dip down to like 189 190 but on a typical day morning I'm 194 pounds um, weather for this run I figured I would include this it was 82 degrees sunny slight headwind on um, the one side of the, the track but not a big deal now, the 5K, obviously, as you've seen in the title, it was a PR. I did 18 minutes and 29 seconds, and that's an average mile of 5 minutes, 58 seconds. Now, my current PR on a mile is 515, and the goal over the next year is to get that below uh, 5 minutes, sub 5. Currently, I am training to qualify for the Boston Marathon. So, man, two years ago, um, I'm sure if you guys are subscribers to this channel, you know the story. If you're new and just finding this channel, well, two years ago, my marathon time was four hours, 15 minutes. Uh, this past November, I did my first Ironman in 11 hours and 28 minutes. And I did the Austin Marathon this past February in three hours and 24 minutes. And I'm just working to get sub three hours with my coach, Patrick Cutter, uh, putting in the mileage, working on the speed work, doing a lot of slow, easy runs, but working to accomplish that Boston qualifier of sub three. Um, my cadence, my average cadence for this run, which is just the number of times your feet are hitting the ground in a minute, was 171. Average heart rate, uh, based off my Garmin, was 151. My current VO2 max, 57. These are just questions I get all the time. Uh, my fastest mile on this run was five minutes and 38 seconds. One of my biggest problems, one of my biggest weaknesses in, in running in terms of races and I don't even want to say shorter distances, but timed races is pacing and something me and my coach are working on to improve on. Uh, my last marathon, I went on the gates hard and heavy and that hit me and, and really was, it was a weakness. It, it hurt me for that race. This first, um, lap of this run today so i had my fiance steph she was um she was pacing me not pacing me but timing me 
So she was giving my splits every 400. And I was trying to maintain one minute and 30 seconds or uh, a little bit slower. My first 400 meter on this run today was like 115. I knew I was, I went out that first, you know, that first 400 a little too fast. So I was trying to slow it down a little bit just to pace myself because, you know, the 5K is an interesting race. A mile, you can go out, balls to the walls, full send, you got four laps. Um, if you go out that first lap, obviously that, that fourth lap, you're going to be sucking. But you have to really take into consideration pacing for a 5K, especially on a track, just mentally, uh, you know, doing, doing the, the 12 plus laps you're going to be doing on the track. Um, pacing was something I was really trying to get my head wrapped around. I did a really good job because every time I was coming around the track for that 400 after that initial one, uh, I was hearing like 124, 126, 127, 128. So I was typically in the most part um, within like six to seven seconds, probably each 400 meter repeat. Now, I know the question I'm going to get and I get all the time is what shoes am I wearing and what watch am I using? Um, for race specific, it's like today I was wearing the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. Um, they have the carbon base plate. And I really enjoy those. Like I love those. Uh, and then you'll see later in this video, I also had six miles to run after this 5k. Uh, so I, I took off the, the Nike Next Percent Vaporflies. And I threw on just a pair of Hoka Rincons for, for some mileage runs. And, um, and I felt good. Like overall in today's run, I felt really good. I was super happy with 1829. That's, that's a ballpark of what I was shooting for ballpark of what my coach was kind of estimating. I would, I would end at, um, something else I want to talk about nutrition prior to this run. Obviously this is not like a, a super long endurance race, right? So like Ironman, triathlon, like nutrition is super important. Marathon, nutrition is super important. Nutrition may have a slight um, advantage or, or a slight um, change in, in pace and, and time for a run like this. But I feel like I should talk about it because I take nutrition and hydration uh, in terms of you know liquid consumption and electrolytes very, very serious. Um, and I get this question all the time, like, what do you eat before your run? So before this run specifically, I ate two hours before I had half a cup of oatmeal. I had 61 grams of pure pumpkin puree, a scoop and a half of whey protein. Uh, and I just made like proats. So it's like you make your oatmeal, you mix in the, the pure pumpkin puree, the whey protein powder, mix all that up, ate that with a banana. Um, and then I also had like 15 minutes before this run, uh, our endurance supplement with Bear Performance Nutrition, G1M Sport, which comes out uh, like next month. And that was 20 grams of carbs in the form of cluster dextrin, 350 milligrams of sodium full electrolyte panel. So I'll let you guys watch this last minute of this run. This last minute, I was, uh, I was sucking pretty hard. I was going all out, but... Uh, it was a smoke fest. It felt really good. I was happy with the pace. And hey, any opportunity, you get to kick your own ass. It's a good day. All right, 18, 29, let's get the stats. All right, 
I don't know if you can see that. 18.29, 5.58 minute per mile pace, 3.1 miles to the 5K. That is, it's a PR by over a minute. Went from 1933 in January. Today is April, let's say April 19th. April 19th. And that run was a 18.29. Woo! All right, I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, all right, guys, so after, after the 5K, came back to the house, and I had a six mile cool down to do. It's absolutely beautiful out. It's like 90 degrees today. Blue skies, sun's out. So I did my six mile cool down just to get some miles in. So that's the video. 1.5 mile warm up, 5K PR, six mile cool down. So we'll see you guys in the next one.